Hi, uh, this is Hadi and today we want to explain how you can host a website. Definitely if you are a student in uh, some university, if you are interested on uh, internet web designing, uh, sometimes you need to upload your design on internet. It's so easy, actually right now in the internet uh, you can find out very good uh, free web hosting to upload your website and check the result, the resolution and the relevant pages you created already and it's so easy to work. And today uh, we will go uh, from very good website, uh, I used it before, it's a uh, triple O. Okay, uh, this is the website of uh, tripleowebshost.com. Uh, you can see this website giving you the web hosting uh, 1.5 gigabyte disk space. And as you can see, this server is PHP MySQL support. So, uh, this web server or web host uh, is not suitable for those who create ASP page. But anyhow, if you create a simple ASP page without any database, this host also can be usable. Okay, let's we go to sign up to create an account in this website. It's a simple form. If you have already the domain, you can write yourname.com over here. If you don't have any domain and you want to use the subdomains of uh, this web hosting website, it's giving you the offer from here. You can put my website, name, whatever that you want, you can put over here. And the URL uh, for your host will be like this, www.yourwebsite name dot uphero dot com okay then you will come to your name your email and the password this password is very very important then it's better that you note know this password somewhere because this password at the end of uh, the registration form is usable uh, on your FTP it means every time you want to upload or delete or edit something on your web host, you need this password. Then it's very, very important. After this, you write the digits above and press I agree. Okay, let I do that. I fill the form and just now I press the button create my account. Okay, immediately you, you will receive this page. Uh, this is your domain name, my site name dot uphero dot com. And if you can see a status right now is in the process. This process taking approximately 24 hours up to two days, but uh, working days is very important. And if you can see the action is uh, the process of activate the account. Here is other information of your account and here is something about the payment if you want to use other facility and other services of this website okay leave it it's not important okay that's right finish immediately after 24 hours you will receive another message uh, to giving you some information uh, to use the website and confirmation of creating your account okay let's see how it's look as you can see over here I received this email it's a account I created before this website cgco.site11.com is ready if you just press on it you can see the information of your account activation first of all we have just uh, set up your account and if you come down you can see general account details this is very important for you because every time you want to upload something on your uh, host you should have this information domain name, IP address, username and password 
This password that's showing over here as a star is a password I already you use for registration. I told before that it's better you not know somewhere uh, and right now you can use it. For file upload details, this is the information of FTP, uh, username, hostname, and password. Okay, now there is two way to upload your files and information on your host. One way is using a cPanel. Actually, for cPanel, it's very difficult to use because every time you should uh, go to a website and just sign in and folder by folder, you should upload your files. But there is other method uh, using FTP with the software to upload easily. Let's uh, we will talk about that on later. Okay, the software that I like before about uh, for uploading the your information your information from offline version to uh, online it's FileZilla. Uh, to find the website, it's better that you go to Google.